Hello world, Kirk Henderson, once again, I'm talking about this baby mama drama, hello to all my fans, all my friends, Alexa, you out there, hello, hey, you got your dad here, just want to say hello out there to TV land, <laughs> hello to everybody out there. Yeah, this baby mama drama thing. I got some more baby mama drama. All about the drama. The baby mama drama. If you don't know how to deal with baby mama drama, this stuff can break you down mentally. And what I mean is, I mean, this, this stuff, goes deep within, you know. I mean, you got a baby mama. The adopted mother has the tendency to destroy a relationship between a father and his kid. I mean, what's 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 the benefit from that Patricia Robinson when you destroy a kid and take her away from her blood father. Say for instance now, if I would have never caught this situation where they frauded the baby birth certificate. I mean, they did all this scandalous scheming stuff in the hospital. I mean, Patricia Robinson knew exactly what she was doing. I mean, she knew what she was doing. You know, she fried the whole entire birth certificate over into her dead husband's name. I guess she didn't think that I was going to catch it. <laughs> now, let's say, for instance, if I didn't catch it, okay, Alexa would have grew up. But now, they move off somewhere. Now, Alexa grows up. She don't know who the hell she is. You know what I mean? Now she out here in this world just lost. Just like Marcus and Veronica Robinson. Marcus now. I'm back on this guy. I mean, he don't know who the hell he is. He don't know who his real blood father is. He don't know who his real blood mother is. He don't know where to start in his life. And then I can't understand it. Why would you be so hard on a situation with a newborn baby and you see exactly what your adopted mother has done who has destroyed a relationship between a daughter and her father and you claiming to be a pastor? Man, what is this world coming to when I mean, you got a pastor up in church preaching, you know, claiming that he's a preacher and doing all this low down, dirty stuff, you know? I mean, just low down and dirty. Man, I just can't understand it. I think about this stuff all the time. And I say, that is a low blow for a pastor to not even recognize what this adopted mother is doing. You don't recognize anything at all. You just sit around and go along with the program. You know what I'm saying? Now, Patricia Robinson, she's caught up in this big old web of, of just catching all the kids and destroying their mind, brainwashing them, turning these kids into something in the long run, they don't know who the hell they are. <laughs> Bad, if I wouldn't have caught this world with this low down, dirty, adopted grandmother, 
if she would have did this to my baby girl, this woman would have ran and ran, possibly moved to another state. I mean, another state besides California, or move to another country, just running and hiding, you know? I mean, what's, what's the whole idea and the makeup of running and hiding with somebody else's kid? And here you is, a, a grown ass, 62 year old, low down, adopted grandmother who only just care about herself and getting that check, baby. Getting them dollar bills. That's all she wants is them dollar bills, baby. She don't give a damn about nobody else. Just keep bringing them dollar bills. <laughs> I mean, this woman don't care about nobody but Patricia Robinson. I never heard from this low-down woman. I mean, all this time, it's gone by, world. Going on 12 years. And my baby girl have never said, hello, dad. How you doing, dad? Happy Father's Day, dad. I mean, how you think that feels when your kid can't never say happy father's day happy new year's happy birthday you see you know there's got to be a sociopath who's behind the scene manipulating and destroying and breaking down the relationship between a father and his daughter now it don't take a mad scientist to figure this out Alexa, this is going on 12 years, and this woman have schemed, connived, destroyed, hiding out, taking all kind of money, and claiming to be a Christian, sitting up in Purpose Church out in Pomona, California, claiming to be a Christian. Tricia Robinson, woman, what in the hell is wrong with you? Did your daddy leave you? Did somebody drop you on your head when you was a baby? What in the world made you do what you did? Hey world, Somebody tell me. Somebody answer that question. Why Why would a crazy-ass adopted grandmother do something like this? And then run and hide out and think that she can hide out forever and that nobody's not going to see her. The world already know who you are, Patricia Robinson. They already know who you are. I mean, what you do? You just sit around and think about your next plot? what you going to do to get over and how you can get some more babies in them dirty little fingers of yours ha <laughs> ha so that's what you're thinking of huh huh yeah but I'm tuned in on your game cause I'm like a piano string on your ass and don't you ever forget it when you try to manipulate a man like me, old school, baby, you could never manipulate a man like me. Simple fact that, that, that I've been around a long time, Patricia Robinson. So how you think you could pull something like that on a grown ass man? Take his kid and hide out in California and collecting all this money now you got my kid, but guess what? Alexa know everything that's going on. I'm gonna speak for Alexa. Yeah, that's right. Alexa know everything that's going on in that house. And she is looking at you like you are a loose ball, Patricia Robinson. That's right, you're a loose ball. I mean, she see all this stuff going on. You know, you hanging around the house manipulating one way you pretends 
to be sweet and innocent at the house, but then on the other end, you like a sweet and low, bittersweet drink, and you hiding all the flavors, and you throw away the straw, and then all of a sudden you come out the bag like a big wolf. You bittersweet one moment. Well, the sweetness is is that Alexa, she baits you in. Bittersweet. Oh, Lexi. I got all these new things for you. I got a new dress. I got a new phone. I got, oh, I got all these different things for you. And I'm going to make you look so pretty. Ooh. See, that's the sweetness right there. See, I got, I, got, I got you a new phone. I got you a new telephone. Yeah. I got you a new telephone. And ooh, she's a beauty. You can go worldwide, all over the world. Yeah. So I got all this stuff for you, Alexi. Now all I need you to do, see now she go into the conning phase. Now, now all I, see these, these kind of witches, they, they, they work on the kid's mind. So they create all this brainwashing kind of thing. See, and then they start working on the kid's mind. Brainwashing them. Now I'm going to tell you something, Lexi. I got all this good stuff for you. And I, one minute she starts saying, I am your mama. Because I fraudulent adopted you. And Mr. Henderson don't have no idea that I adopted you under the table and got a crooked ass attorney to do it. You know what I'm saying? But I want you to know that you are my daughter from here on out. Mr. Henderson don't have to know a damn thing. You just keep your mouth shut and don't let me hear you say nothing. You don't communicate with him. You don't talk to him. You don't see him. Veronica don't talk to him. Nobody don't say nothing, Mr. Henderson. Because we got this. See, see, crooked people. So now she goes into that conning mode. Now we got all this. All this stuff, Lex. Now, don't worry about a thing, you know. If you if you get pregnant, we'll take care of you. See, this is what Patricia Robinson wants. Alexa Henderson do. I'm talking about the next episode here now. So what she want to do now, she want Alexa to fall into this trap and mess around and get pregnant at a early age so she can pull that same hogwash thing that she pulled on Veronica. Now she thinks she can pull it on Alexa. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So see, this woman thinks she is working her mojo. She's been working that shit for years. And sorry to say, but Patricia Robinson bleeds in witchcraft. And wow, she would try to brainwash you and take over and take over your whole soul body. Man, if you don't wake up and smell the coffee and see what's really going on, you gonna find yourself sicker than a bad. You know, don't let nobody hogwash you. She already thinks she brainwashed you, Lexi. Yeah, yeah. She thinks she got it all on the cover. Yeah, into her dirty little sticky fingers. See, she thinks everything is under her fingers. But she's a bowl of tricks, Lex. <laughs> You can't pull nothing on Alexa Henderson. Alexa is smarter than Patricia Robinson and Veronica Robinson with both of them put together. You know why? Because Alexa is like, I say, alien technology. And when I say alien technology, I don't mean she's an alien. I just mean her knowledge is way bigger and deeper, in other words, three-dimensional, in a sense where she can just 
by nature figure things out. I mean, have you noticed how Alexa learns so fast? She can do all kind of animation designs. She's so intelligent for her age. She's so smart. I mean, this girl is way past her dimension in her age category until everybody looks up to her. Now, where did she get that from? See, God has a special purpose for Alexa. She was really meant to be blessed. And so I tell Alexa like this, don't you dare let Patricia Robinson screw your head up because that's what she wants to do. She want to get inside of your head, mess your mind up, manipulate you, and control you like a puppet. That's what she want to do. Control you like a puppy and put a lot of babies on you. And those little boys who mess around and get Alexa pregnant, oh, it, it, it will never be the end of that parade, baby. Because Patricia Robinson gonna collect, 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 collect every which way she can. She gonna get child support money on the baby mama. She gonna get child support money on the baby father, and if she could get child support on the little boy, she'll try to put his ass to work too and put child support on his ass too. See what I'm saying? So you better be careful dealing with Patricia Robinson because this woman will mess your life up. So I want to see Alexa Henderson finish high school, you know, get her education, just don't worry about all this stuff that you see that's going on with Patricia Robinson and Veronica Robinson. I mean, you already know what's going on. You know these people got a loose ball. I mean, you didn't you didn't create this monster. They did. They created the monster. You didn't create that monster. So, hey, it's 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 really too many kids out there who are just so destroyed to not have a father in their life. I ran into a woman not too long ago. This woman is 80 years old and don't have no idea who her real blood father is. You know what I mean? Some kind of way, the same situation, grandma and the baby mother threw a monkey into her show, messed her life up at an early age. She grows up, now she lost. And she finds out on the coup that the woman who was pretending to be her mother really wasn't her mother. And the man who was pretending to be her father wasn't her father father, her blood father. And so now she's lost. She's so confused. This kid was switched at birth and now her life is totally destroyed and she don't know who she are. The mother won't tell her who claims that it's her daughter. Won't tell her nothing. The so-called wannabe father claiming to be her father. He won't tell her nothing. So so what's really going on here? See, it's too much of this stuff going on in the world where the kids are, are, are just getting messed around, you know? And, and I say this all the time. The kids are, are our future. And if the world don't do something about this and don't get a grip on this, the kids going to be all screwed up. I mean, so many kids are dropping out of school and getting bad grades in school. I mean, they messed up. This right here has got to stop. Patricia Robinson, look into my eyes. This right here, what you have done, this has got to stop. You have gotten away going on 12 long years this has got to stop 
Veronica Robinson, you need to get a grip of yourself. You need to get a grip of yourself. I mean, that's not cool. Both of you are screwed up in the head. I'm saying this because I just do not appreciate what you all have done here. You all destroyed Alexa Henderson's life. Messed her all up. Girl ain't never personally talked to her father. Never heard her father face to face. And you guys are running and hiding. I mean... If I was Alexa, I would break away from that somehow, some way. I would find a way to call my blood father. Because can't nobody take my blood father away from me. Not in a million years. Not who helped bring me into this world. You're going to let a wicked witch take you away from your blood father. So tell me that ain't brainwash world. Tell me. Patricia Robinson, Patricia Robinson. Everybody knew about this witch. She had a bad ass upbringing. I'm telling you, man. To be hating on good fathers, dogging them out, running and hiding and collecting all the money that she can collect, and sitting up in church claiming to be a Christian. Ain't that a bitch? You know, I'm just so disappointed in this woman. I am so disappointed in Patricia Robinson. When you gonna ever learn, Patricia Robinson? You know, you 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 can you can do your little dirt all you want, but that stuff is crumbling. It's crumbling. Your little dirt is crumbling. It's falling apart. <laughs> Hey, well, tell me what you think. Share your comment. Like and share. Please subscribe. Hit the bell. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you feel in. Tell me something. I mean, these old crazy ass people are just not right. Hey, Alexa, I know how you feel. Your father just... Letting loose here, going on 12 long years. Somebody's got to reach out and tell Patricia and Veronica Robinson, this has got to stop. Somebody's got to tell them, you know. You know, I mean, just how long do you think, Patricia Robinson, you and Veronica think you can get away and pull a shield over Alexa's eyes? Alexa know exactly what you're doing. You're not fooling her. You're just like a bag of tricks, baby. Like I said, a Cracker Jack pop. That's all you are, Patricia Robinson. Because you're spinning your wheels. You damn sure don't have no sex appeal. You sit around the house looking like a damn fool thinking about how I can scam again. All you do is Mess up people's lives and do all that crazy ass sin. And then you turn around and try to hogwash woman. Like I said before, Patricia Robinson, you done dogged me out so long. I honestly feel like, no, this ain't it. This, this ain't it. This, this is not all of it. This is not it. You are a piece of shit, Patricia Robinson, because you have dogged me out for 12 long years. And you took all this away from me and you never apologized to me. You know, you damn right, you know, I'm upset because you never apologized to me. You neither, Veronica. Let somebody do that to you and see how you would feel. Huh? Do you think you'd sit around the house and look cute? You probably would look more uglier than what you are now. Because that was messed up. 
Well, tell me what you think about these crazy ass people. You know they, wow, man. I, I know, I know, I got some demons that I'm dealing with, and this shit is off the chain, like two chain. You know I me. Mean? Shit is off the chain. But due to the fact that I'm so up to date with everything, I don't let this stuff bother me. Because it would never bother me because I have learned to recognize crazy, ignorant, psychopath, sociopath people that it just will never break me down because I see right through that BS. Trisha Robinson, you need to get it together with all that scamming and spamming and thinking that it's all about you, man. That's not cool at all. This is my true story. And I'm just very unhappy with the way this woman did me and my daughter. So this is another episode world. I mean, a lot of people look at my title deadbeat mothers, deadbeat grandmothers. This is not going out to no other woman, no other grandmother, but to Patricia Robinson and Veronica Robinson because they are true deadbeat mothers and deadbeat grandmothers. You think about it now. You got a adopted mother who con my baby mother, she stole our kid. They got child support set up. Now they go run and hide. They never call me. Let my daughter talk to me. They broke her down and tried to break me down. They running and hiding. You got this old crazy ass, scandalous ass, bullshit ass Patricia Robinson. She just thinks that she's the shit, but that, that shit ain't right. It's not right. And I'm just sharing my feelings. I mean, I done held this stuff in for years. And like they always say, too much pressure to bust a pipe. And if you don't get that stuff off of your chest one way or the other, you just might bust a pipe. But I'm going to stand up and fight for my rights. I'm going to share my story all around the world. I'm gonna speak my constitutional freedom of speech. Because you know that 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 stuff wasn't right, Patricia Robinson. It wasn't right. But anyway, I see it for what it is, you know what I mean? Now, Alexa, I hope you're dealing with this stuff. Please, whatever you do, don't let it break you down. You know, I know how you feel inside. You know, you, you're dealing with sheep in wool's clothing. You got a 12-year-old trying to understand and cope and deal with some sociopath. Don't even try to understand, Patricia Robson. At this point, at your age, Alexa Henderson, you cannot understand this woman. If anything, this stuff will mentally break you down and make you have a heart attack and make you fall out. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't figure out crazy people. And remember this world, if anybody out there is going through with what I'm going through, you can never figure out a crazy person. A crazy person is going to keep on doing what they do until they actually make you fall out. And this is their main goal. See, it's to keep on adding more and more pressure to your mind, to your heart, to your soul and got you all screwed up. You can't eat. You can't sleep. I mean, what am, what am I going to do now? What am I going to do now? I thought, I thought she loved me and I thought she was there for me and I thought everything was fine. She told me one minute that she loved me and that I was the best thing ever and got me all kind of nice clothes. Then all of a sudden, she just walked into the house talking crazy, ignorant, telling me not to never mention my father. I better not never try to call my father. Sheep in wool's clothing. See, this 
dog ass adopted grandmother all she want to do is manipulate and keep on controlling she thinks she got the power but Alex never let him see you sweat because you know what's going on now that the story has been told I'm so glad that I got a chance to educate you and let you know what's really going on here because you think about it now what if this stuff would have went on for 18 long years and you would have never heard anything never known about your father and these people just up and moved to another country somewhere and just hid out for 18 20 years now you're lost into the shuffle then all of a sudden one day the bag slipped and you find out who your blood father is from the internet and now you're trying to, why did they hide all this stuff from me all these years? I didn't, I didn't deserve this. Why did Patricia Robinson do what she did to me? I didn't deserve this. You see what I'm saying? This is happening to a whole lot of people all around the world talking about this same shit. Who is my real blood father? Who is my real blood mother? Somebody threw me into an adoption home. Made my life a, a living hell. I was jumping around from foster home to foster home. And now I'm in an in a adoption home. I was so screwed up and so traumatized. Until those people couldn't deal with me. They threw my ass out of that home. And so now another, another uh, family adopted me. But see, the effect that normally goes with all this brainwashed stuff is that it totally tears the kids down until they don't know who they are now they just messed up in the mind you see what I'm saying so lord but anyway I want to say uh, to all the people out there please Please like and subscribe. Tell your mama, your daddy, your brother. Please like and share. Help me get my true story out there. If you see Patricia Robinson out there in Moreno Valley, California, tell her that shit wasn't right. You know, she's in Riverside, California, Moreno Valley, California. I'm in Texas. And they are running and hiding and collecting child support. And my baby mother, Veronica Robinson, is brainwashed. She don't even know who she is. You know, this woman never called me. Hey, Kirk, your, your daughter is, is, is looking just like you more and more every day. Your daughter say, hi, I'm just going to call up Curtis and just... Let his daughter say hello, Dad, and that she loves you. Hey, Dad, happy birthday! Hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm saying happy birthday to all them eleven birthdays that I miss telling you. I mean, I know Alex, Alexi goes to Pestrick. She see all this stuff. Me telling her happy birthday. Me showing her family pictures throughout the years. You know, all kind of good blessings and, and, and encouragements, you know, to help boost up her spirit, you know, so that she won't get lost into to this tunnel of defeat with all this brainwash. What's going on with Patricia Robinson, man? Oh, man, is this, this is just drama after drama after drama. So much damn drama to make your damn head sweat. Yeah, sometimes I feel like Keith sweat. Something, 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 something just ain't right. That's the way I've been feeling ever since my daughter was born. Something never been right because of what Patricia Robinson did. 
Veronica Robinson, she did not make anything better. Bunch of crooks, Alexa. One day I hope you find yourself, but I know this stuff is going to mess with you for a very long time. I know it is. So, in a way I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness. Thanks to all my people out there who's watching. And uh, you got to take care. Keep smiling, you know. Life is beautiful, you know. There's love and happiness on the other side of the rainbow. As long as God is within your heart, everything is going to be all right. Because my God said it is. See, my God gives me love, peace, and happiness because a lot of times you cannot do all this stuff on your own. If your life is messed up and destroyed and you lost into the world and, and, and you don't know who you are, you don't know who your blood father is, you don't know who your blood mother is, just fall down on your hands and knees before the Lord. And pray out and cry out. And he will show you the way. And start doing the different things to link up to different channels to get a start so that you can find your real blood parents. Now, you know, don't go on forever and ever, forever, not knowing where you belong because somebody else took away all your roots. Somebody else destroyed all your roots. Somebody else hid all that from you. Somebody else destroyed your life. Somebody else told you you would never be nothing. Somebody else just totally just brainwashed and hogwashed you. And totally just turned you against your blood father. Patricia Robinson. You ain't right. You're not right. But anyway, I'm going to end this show. I want to say once again, peace, love, and happiness. And what's my slogan? Curdy Cool loves you. No, that's not it. My slogan is, okay, bye. Back at you, baby. Okay, bye.